Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to create a cool earth like this. So, as you can see, the atmosphere flies around the earth, and we also have some smoke here in space. It's very smoky in space this time of year. Now, this isn't a completely 3D earth, but you can rotate it however you need and go wherever you want. And uh, there's also a way to add a nice solar eclipse look. That's kind of cool. Obviously, there's tons of different things you can do once you have the earth. You could create a cool logo treatment for a production company. Um, you know, this is like the universe, so you could call it universe pictures and have it kind of fly around the earth. That would be kind of cool. Okay, so let's get started. What I have is some atmosphere, and I have an earth map of everything you see here. And what we're going to do is take the earth map, drag it into a new comp. And we'll go to the composition settings, and we'll make sure it's set to 10 seconds. And all these settings look good. Then if we go to our effects and presets, we'll type in CC space SPH sphere. And we'll drag that onto our earth map. And now we've created a nice 3D earth, or so it would seem. We can rotate it, do all that good stuff. But before we set up the earth, Let's create the atmosphere and the stars. So create a new solid. Make comp size. Choose OK. We'll choose effect. Fractal noise. And we'll bring the transform settings down, down to about 3. And the contrast up and the brightness down. So got some stars there. We can bring the contrast up and the brightness down some more if you want them to be a little more distinct. And if we hit return, we can name it and we'll drag it to the back. Okay. Now, let's create some space fog. I'm going to create a new solid again. Come over here and type in fractal noise. Drag that out. Now, what we want to do here is set a keyframe for the evolution and the offset turbulence. So if we change this, you can see we can just kind of offset it there. And then we're going to go to the end, type uh, 1500, so we offset it about a thousand pixels. And we'll go to the evolution and set it to three revolutions. So you can see it just kind of phases there. Now, if we make sure the solid is actually like a blue color, that'll help. And then we'll choose hue and saturation and drag that out into our comp. And then if we turn on the colorize function, we'll make it blue and saturate it. And then we'll change the transfer mode to hard light. And that way we can bring the opacity down and we have this nice fog. Now if we bring the brightness up a bit and the contrast down, we can get a little bit more of a fog look. And then if we take the layer and the rectangular mask tool, we can just mask off a portion of it. And then if we hit MM, we can bring the feathering up so that it's nice and soft. And we can bring the opacity of the layer down a little bit too. Okay, so now we have this nice fog. Now, let's go ahead and work on the earth what we want to do is pre-compose the earth map. So I choose layer, pre-compose, leave all attributes in the map. Choose OK. Then what we want to do is duplicate this, Control D, and then bring the effects up. If you hit E, and then E for both of them, we can see them. And what we want to do is Alt-click on this map's radius and take the pick whip and drag it to the radius of the initial one and that way if we scale the radius up they'll stay connected so the values will always be the same likewise we want to go to the rotation and link each one of these rotation values to this master earth uh, rotation value so we'll alt click pick whip alt click pick whip 
alt click pick whip okay so now everything is all tied in together now if we take our top layer and we go into the light settings we can change the direction of the light to the other side of the earth so if we go say 70 degrees then the height bring that down a little bit we can zoom in here and intensity up and we can change the direction even a little bit 90 degrees that obviously looks better and we want it to just kind of come around the edge there and we'll bring the intensity up and we'll change the color of the light to uh, kind of a greenish blue then if we change the transfer mode to screen we can sort of create more of a 3d looking earth and if we rotate the master earth both of the maps will now rotate so if we solo this layer and rotate the master you can see it's rotating and if we turn them both on they both rotate together so that makes it so you don't have to uh, you know keep animating a bunch of things then if we duplicate this earth map the secondary one again go into the light settings for the sphere effect we can bring the light direction back over to this side and bring the height around and we'll change the color back to white and the intensity down but what this does is just gives it a little bit more depth and if we get the uh, let's see 270 degrees we get that right it'll look a little bit nicer so there we have it and one other thing if we go to the master earth and go down to the shading options we can uh, make a little hot spot and uh, we can do that by turning the specular up and if we also go to the light and bring the intensity up and the diffuse down get a little bit hotter looking uh, highlight and the metal will make it more white bring the highlight or the speculars the hot spot will bring that down just a little bit roughness will make it bigger so nice that we have all these great settings to play with um, so now that we have the earth um, sort of the way we like it then we can add a nice glow to the master earth effect stylize glow because our earth has a nice healthy glow to it and we'll turn the glow to alpha channel so that it looks at the alpha and we'll set the composite original to on top basically putting the glow behind it we'll change color a to nice blue color B to a nice dark blue and if we increase the radius we have a nice healthy looking earth now let's add some atmosphere to our earth because usually it's not this clear so if we alt double click on the earth come inside here we'll take our cloud layer and drag it into the comp on top usually and we'll change the transfer mode to screen now we want our atmosphere to sort of move around the earth while the earth is spinning so if we come to the effects and presets we'll type in motion tile and we'll drag that out to our clouds and now if we offset the tile center it'll loop on forever so we set a keyframe move forward to the end and we'll just you know move it forward to about you know, 500 a thousand whatever and that way it just kind of moves and if we go back into our earth comp now we set a keyframe for the Y rotation and we'll move forward a few seconds and just rotate the earth and that way as the earth rotates the atmosphere also rotates and it creates a nice three-dimensional effect now obviously you want to slow it down if you're looking for photorealism but for the artistic effect obviously uh, moving fast uh, does draw your attention to that now what we want to do next is color correct the earth so because these are all instances of the same pre-comp we can go into the earth map solo it choose effect color correction hue and saturation and we can bring the saturation just down a little bit a little more realistic colors and now if we go to the cyan channel sort of like the blue we can extend the selection area and basically from here to here is sort of a fade and here to here is a fade and this kind of loops around so if we go to the red channel you see this is kind of selecting the red color but in this case it loops around 
And what we want to do is now that we have the cyan hue selected, we want to offset it to more of a blue color. So as you can see, we can change it to anything. And that way we isolate the color. And if you can see, this is the original colors and we're offsetting them, remapping them to these colors. So just kind of a nice healthy blue. And if we turn our atmosphere back on and go to our final render, you can see we just have a nice, nice looking earth here. Also, if we go into the yellow or the green channel, we want to select some yellow because we do have a lot of, you know, orangish yellow earth here. And we just select a little bit more. We can saturate those colors. And again, we just give it a little more of a healthy look. But depending on the realism you're after, you know, use some reference pictures and just uh, play with that. But that's a real nice way to you know, get the control you need over the earth because doesn't everybody want to control the earth? I actually had this plan to create a really large laser, um, but the really big ones are very expensive. So what I did is I went out and bought, I don't know, 500 of these laser pointers, the little red dot laser pointers. You see them at the movie theaters. And I bought a bunch of them and I put them together in an array so that they were all concentrating their light in one direction. And I duct taped them together put them on a nice tripod, nice bogan tripod. And what I tried to do was blow up the moon because once the moon is out of orbit, the earth would spin out of control and we'd probably go right into the sun. And unless anybody wanted to pay me a thousand dollars, I was going to do this. But it turns out the lasers did absolutely nothing. Um, so I just went back to my day job selling bootleg Rolex watches. Uh, so let me know if you guys want to get those. Anyway, back to this. What if we want to create a solar eclipse? Well, what we can do is create a solid, make it white, and then we'll choose the elliptical mask tool and just click, drag, hold down, control and shift, and basically make a nice circle. And if we go to the effects, we'll type in uh, glow. And we'll take our stylized glow drag it onto our white layer. I'll choose alpha, composite original on top, and change the B color to an orangish yellow, and then increase the intensity and the radius. And we'll put that behind the earth, and we'll move it over to the side. If we go to the earth, shut the glow off, and we'll choose effect, color correction, hue and saturation, we want to bring the lightness down. So it's okay that the other ones sort of had their light on, but we want the lightness of the main part of the earth to be dark. You can, of course, go into any of these and adjust the light to make it a little more realistic. Bring the opacity down of the uh, backlight there. So whatever you decide. Um, but the gist of this is to create a new black solid. And then we're going to choose lens flare, generate lens flare, change it to the 105 millimeter prime, choose effect, color correction, curves, and we'll go to the red channel, and we'll bring the red up, and go to the blue channel and bring the blue down. And then if we go to the green channel and bring the green up a little bit, we can get more of a yellowy hot look. Then we'll go back to the RGB and just give it some contrast so that it's not so bright. And if we change the transfer mode to screen, we can see it on top. And if we select the name lens flare, we can move it around. And uh, you can go back into the green channel and you know make it more yellow. Any of that good stuff. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial useful. My name is Andrew Kramer, and of course check out videocopilot.net. We got great products. We got some new buttons up here to. Uh, get you great access to some DVDs, all that good stuff. So thanks for watching. My name's Andrew Kramer, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Now, I do want to respond to a comment. Um, I was just saying thanks, guys, to everyone, and a girl came on and said, hey, you know, don't, don't forget about us. Girls, you know, we're here too. And so it just really made me think about, you know, the video co-pilot girls. And so I wrote a little song that I would like to share for you today. This one's for the ladies. like this.
my wife just came in. I got to go.